introducing the new Hyperledger Fabric Certified Practitioner that has been rolled out by Hyperledger Fabric Foundation to replace the old Hyperledger Fabric um, Administrator and Developer Certificate. Um, so this is a new certificate uh, which uh, came with a new uh, type of examination. Um, this certificate is a uh, a multiple choice exam, unlike the previous certificates, uh, which were um, hands-on certificates. Here we have a multiple choice exam, which means that you will have a bunch of questions and you have to pick the right answer among multiple answers. Generally, there are four or five answers. But what is tricky is that the answers are a bit close, so you should be uh, really sure of your answer um, before um, picking up the right uh, the right one so uh, as indicated here the certificate um, targets the fabric v2.5 the latest one and uh, also this exam is for um, 90 minutes which is a bit um, let's say it's more than enough uh, personally I have completed the exam in less than one hour and uh, the the certificate targets the basics and also advanced concepts. So you will be asked about fundamentals of blockchain, um, of course, the network, how it works, etc., and a bunch of questions regarding different cases and technical uh, questions, and also about smart contracts and uh, client applications. Um, so the question here um, is how to succeed this, um, this certificate. Uh, just uh, to mention uh, an important point is that in this exam documentation is not allowed unlike the previous certificates so you are on your own, your own so there is no uh, doc documentation so you have to uh, answer um, to answer the questions um, let me before uh, discussing the um, the uh, questions that you may have uh, let's give you let, let me give you just few hints that would help you to succeed. First one is uh, the exam is a multi-choice exam so you have the right to flag um, a question that you are not sure about its answer so you can flag it for um, to come back later to to answer it because the the whole and the whole exam is it's like uh, you have to finish all the questions then you submit your your final responses so if you are not, um, because there are a lot of questions, uh, so if you are not sure about a question, uh, you can flag it for, for later. Why I'm, I'm telling you this? Because you may find the answer to this question in another question. For example, you may get a question like, um, what's the role of an endorsing peer? And as, a, as options, you get uh, answer A, uh, it simulates transaction, uh, answer B, it creates blocks, and, uh, and so on, other options. And you are not quite sure about the right answer here. So the best practice to do is to flag the, uh, the, this question to come later to, to answer it. So in, the, uh, in another question, maybe you will get a question like, uh, you know, endorsing peers are simulating transactions. So what are, for example, what they do once they endorse the, the transaction? So here you can understand that the role of endorsing peer is uh, to simulate transactions. So you can get back to, once you finish all the, uh, the questions, you can get back to the prior question and uh, invest this new information or this insurance that you got from the uh, the other question. Uh, so this is a tip very important that uh, can that may help you uh, with with the exam. The second tip is that you need a little bit of practice. Um, you can play with the uh, fabric samples, uh, just the the end to end experience. We have to to experience the the end to end hyperledger fabric um, experience so you have to uh, set up the, the the network to build a gateway to deploy a smart contract or chain code then to call and like that to call, to call this chain code for example from a web application or something like that like that you will construct a complete understanding of how are the inner workings of, of the hyperledger fabric 
So uh, for the um, for the question, generally, the um, the documentation is more than enough. The official documentation you, you don't need to read books or or to go read uh, tutorials. Yeah, maybe they can help you to cement your understanding. But um, to be honest, you can read just the official documentation. But you need to be um, very vigilant, very careful about the details. For example, here um, this documentation discuss private data, how they are handled in high pressure fabrics. So you need to pay attention. For example, uh, here we are talking about configuration. Um, so uh, you need to understand and to remember this 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 aspects because, for example, you will be asked about about these um, these elements uh, and and so forth. So you can of course um, read the whole document you can um, of course have a, a notebook where you write down uh, the the key findings that you will discover in the documentation but to be honest you have to care about the details it's not like high level understanding but you will have questions uh, for example about uh, blocks about private data about uh, how, when data is sh shared, deleted, what will happen, etc., etc. So you have to to um, have a good understanding of uh, how things work, and you need to really, really read the official documentation, which is, by the way, um, not that good, but acceptable. It will have at least give you an idea about uh, what's needed. Uh, for example, in another place in the documentation, you can find maybe when you read the documentation you you will think that these aspects are a kind of advanced or uh, useless in some way but you will be um, i will advise you to to read everything and to um, of course care about all aspects of the hyperledger fabric uh, network from the documentation for example the operation service uh, the private data the uh, gateway uh, the uh, fabric CA because uh, as you know this is a documentation for hyperledger fabric but there is also a documentation for uh, hyperledger fabric CA so you have to at least um, read both uh, but of course if you have practical knowledge a lot of these details are uh, maybe already uh, known but you know um, from my experience since I'm, I'm, I have it, uh, an experience of uh, uh, four or five years in Hyperledger Fabric. Uh, it was for me uh, like refreshing memory by reading the documentation in in few hours. Then I started the exam. So uh, the exam is not that difficult, but yeah, like I've said, it, it, it's good to have um, um, a good uh, understanding of of uh, the questions and to be sure about what is the the answer. And the last point is that the uh, threshold of the exam to pass the exam is high. I I, I think it's about uh, sixty or seventy five percent, which is a little bit high. So you should be sure about your answers, like that you can pass um, this exam, the the exam. So just in a nutshell, to to resume what we have discussed is that first you need to uh, focus on your questions, understand you should really, really uh, read uh, the questions very well to understand what's the question, because maybe you are um, under pressure of time, like I've said, you have enough time, but um, you need to read the questions correctly and give it uh, enough time, then start by understanding the answers and then uh, pick the right answer that you are 100% sure. If you are not that sure, you can flag the the the, the questions for to uh, to come back later. And like I've said, maybe in another question you will find some element of response that can help you to answer that question. And uh, of course, don't rush. Um, be uh, be calm and try. This is a, a, a to me to be uh, to be honest. It's a five on ten difficult exam. So it's not that difficult, but uh, it depends on on the experience of each one. So this, uh, this was a quick video just to give you uh, um, a taste of uh, how you can get this, um, this certificate. Uh, myself, for me, it wasn't um, 
that difficult. Uh, it took me one day to prepare and for everything to get the certificate. But like I've said, I have a, a, a deep uh, experience uh, in hyperledger fabric, which helped me a lot to answer uh, to answer some 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 technical questions. So thank you, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section, or you can reach out to me uh, over LinkedIn, or um, you can send me an email like that. I, I maybe uh, I can uh, help you, but just remember, it's not uh, possible to share questions with you because uh, the exam policy um, um, prohibited that, so it's not possible to give you uh, examples of questions, but maybe I can help you with which section you should learn more, but that is also indicated here with percentages. So you need, for example, to focus more a little bit uh, on IPG Fabric net Network, how transactions are signed, how or, uh, they are endorsed, um, how, what's the role of each component in the network, um, etc., etc., this kind of stuff. So you need to, to focus on that and I uh, hope you uh, good luck.